At the beginning of my low buy year, I shared with you guys my rules and I also let you know that I would be reevaluating my rules in three months time. It's officially March. I started my journey three and a half months ago. So it's been three months and I have some changes I'm going to make, whether they are drastic changes, whether I am completely going away with my low buy year, or if I'm sticking to somewhat regular rules, you will just have to watch to find out. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back if you're new here. My name is Melissa and I love luxury and fashion and getting dressed up and just being girly and feminine. But the last couple years, I feel like I took it a little bit too far. And if I'm being honest with you guys, taking it a little bit too far gives me a little bit of anxiety. And every time that I would make a purchase, I felt a sense of guilt behind the purchase. Not because I was spending money that wasn't my own, I wasn't going into debt for these purchases but just simply the fact that I felt like I was purchasing too much and I wasn't being wise or smart with my money so I decided to go on this low buy journey to restrict myself and create rules that I felt like were feasible for me to actually achieve those rules were I could not buy any clothing because I have a closet full of clothing. I couldn't buy any shoes because I have so many pairs of shoes that I don't even wear every single pair every year. I couldn't buy any makeup because I have a vanity filled with makeup unless it was an empties. I couldn't buy any homeware because I actually intend on either moving or renovating my house, which means that I do not need to buy homeware to decorate it as is now if I am doing changes later on. And lastly, I could not buy any perfumes. I have about six different perfumes. I think there's three of them that are not my favorite. So I've been working towards going through those three and then just keeping a few in my wardrobe. That's all I earn in the wardrobe in my, I keep it in my bathroom. A few in my bathroom, keeping a few in my bathroom that I really love. I don't need a lot. I need a winter scent. I need a date night scent and I need a summer scent or, and that's pretty much all that I need when it comes to perfume. When it comes to me personally, I don't like to switch out my perfume. I don't like to go all crazy. It's another decision that I have to make. So long winded answer, no more perfume in 2024. And lastly, I was restricting myself on how many bags I could purchase. So as you can see, bags are my weakness. It's what I absolutely love. And I can only buy three bags total in the year of 2024. Anything other than that was open or fair game. So SLGs I could purchase, accessories for my bags I could purchase. I can go out on events. I can do fun things with my husband. I can do fun things with my kids. I can go out to eat. I can do any of those types of things. I also could continue to, of course, take care of my kids. My kids were going to continue to get their allowance. They will continue to get clothing every, I do it every season. They get a new set of clothing and they also get clothes sporadically throughout the year if they outgrown it they will of course get all of their new school supplies and they will continue to get their allowance i'm not sure if i already said that one or not i feel like i may have so now that we've gotten the rules out of the way my original set of rules what am i changing if anything I honestly thought at first I wasn't going to change anything at all. I am pretty content with where I'm at. I feel like the rules that I have made are pretty feasible. But when I thought about this and I thought about over the next three months, something came up that I may need. And so I'm going to allow myself to purchase that. And that is because summer is coming up. So if I haven't mentioned every three months, I'm reevaluating my rules. This is so that I can stick to my low buy and I don't just give up. I feel like sticking to it for three months is a perfect period of time to see if it's going to work for me or if there's anything that I need to change, whether that be tighten up some, some strings or loosen up some strings. So my rules are going to slightly change in both of those ways. I'm going to tighten up a couple things and I am going to loosen up a couple things. One of the things that I want to touch on first is my wardrobe. Now, I don't plan on going out and buying a brand new wardrobe at all, but there are a couple things that my wardrobe is lacking now that I have gained some weight. So as I went through my clothes, if you haven't seen that, I will link that video down below. I went through my clothes and I pulled everything out that I could not fit into or was too tight or too snug. I also pulled out colors that weren't working for me. And when I did that, I saw a lack of certain items that I really need to add into my wardrobe before summertime. 
and that is shorts. I don't have any shorts at all that fit me comfortably now. And I work in a place where I am indoors and outdoors and in 120 de degree weather, shorts are really, really important to me. So I am going to allow myself to buy two new pair of shorts in the next three month time period. But it's something that needs to work not only for my work environment, but also for my weekend attire because I am not going to buy specific clothes for work. I don't need to. My work is very casual. So I need to make sure that all the pieces that I am buying are pieces that work in every single situation that I need them to. The other thing that I realized that I don't have is jeans without holes in them. Now this is specific kind of for work again, not specific for work in the sense I'm only gonna buy it for work, but I am uncomfortable wearing jeans to work with holes in them, although I am allowed to. So I am going to allow myself to buy two new pairs of jeans without holes in them. So two pairs of shorts and two pairs of jeans, and that is all I'm allowing myself to buy in clothing other than one other item. Now this item is really exciting because my husband and I have decided to start going out on dates and doing the things that we've always wanted to do, but never really could find the time or whatever the reason was, we just never have done it. And some of those things are pretty fancy. So I am going to allow myself to buy one fancy dress that I can wear to these different occasions. One of them, which is already in the works, is that we are going to go to our very first cinema. I have never been to a cinema and I'm really, really excited to do it. So I'm gonna buy a dress that, I, that will work in these fancier occasions, but I also can dress down. Now I have a feeling that I'm gonna buy a needle and thread dress, which are very, very expensive, but they're me. It's my style. They have the beautiful colors, the beautiful textures. They are easy to be dressed up or dressed down. I can wear them to church or to fancier occasions like the cinema. Another thing that we want to do is to go to an opera. I've never been to an opera. I also want to go see a ballet. There's just so many things that I want to go do that are a little bit fancier and I need a fancier dress that fits me. Key word here with all of these items, it's that I don't have these items in sizes that fit me. They fit me, but they're an uncomfortable fit and that's the last thing that I want. So one dress, two pairs of shorts, two pairs of jeans, that's it for clothing that I'm allowing myself to buy over the next three month time period. Now this next rule is something I want to pull the strings back on and that is that I had opened up the, the SLG category. I want to not buy any SLGs over the next three months. That is just simply because I just bought an SLG. I bought an SLG in February and I don't feel like I need any more SLGs. I have never wanted a collection of SLGs. I just want one SLG of every single size so that they will all fit inside of my bags comfortably and that's it. That's all I need for SLGs. I don't need all the beautiful things. I'm not an SLG collector, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I will not buy any more SLGs for the next three months and I have a good feeling that that's going to broaden. I don't think I'll buy any for the next year, but we will touch that touch back on that in three months time. Another change that I want to make, which honestly could wait until my next three month check in, but it's something that I'm pretty positive I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and share it with you guys now. My birthday is in September. That's why I said it could wait until the next three months because in three more months we will be June. But in September on my birthday, whatever day I choose to celebrate my birthday, so if I go out that weekend or the weekend before or whatever day I choose to celebrate my birthday is going to be a free day. That means there are no rules, there are no restrictions, there is no low buy at all. I can do whatever I want. So if I feel like going out that day and spending all my disposable income, I can. Will I? Probably not. That's just not me. That's not something that I, like, that I like to do, especially now at this point in my life. But I can if I want to. And I think that's fair. I think that your birthday should be a free day. It should be a day where you can do whatever you want. Keep in mind, my low buy year is not necessarily to save up money or to rack up money. I started my low buy year because my consumption was too heavy. I had a little bit of debt that I wanted to completely pay off. That's going to happen very, very soon. And so I feel like opening up my birthday to a free day is something that works with my low buy year. So what is staying the same? Everything else is staying the same, you guys. Three bags only for 2024. 
no clothing other than those few clothing, clothing items I mentioned, no makeup, no perfume, no shoes. That is for the next three months time. We are sticking to those rules and then we will reevaluate in three more months. If you guys are doing this low buy with me, how are you doing? How is it going? I need to know your juicy details because I'm out here spilling all of my juicy details with you guys. And I just don't think it's fair that I'm spilling all the beans and you guys are not. So let me know down in the comments below, how is it going? I feel like I am doing really, really well. I'm really, really proud of myself. There's been a couple little things that were questionable purchases especially in February but other than that I don't think that I am doing bad at all I've actually stuck to all of my rules and I am really excited to see where the next three months brings me